Hi, I'm Paul Komar. In this video, I will show two enhancements to the ClearCase version importer that we introduced in Rational Team Concert 406. The ClearCase version importer itself was introduced in RTC 405. There's a separate video where I demonstrate the version importer's fundamental operation and its initial capabilities. These new features will help you to migrate from ClearCase to RTC source control. The first feature, incremental migration, enables you to bring your sources over in chunks, such as subtrees. The second feature enables you to migrate multiple views of a source tree in a single operation. Let me summarize how to use the version importer. Essentially, you run a program at the command line to export a source tree from ClearCase to a local directory called the data directory. This is the export phase. Once the export phase completes, you may want to transport the data directory to another site where your RTC deployment is based. This, is the, this transport phase is optional. Finally, you execute the import phase by running another command to import from the data directory into your RTC repository. With incre the incremental migration feature in RTC 406, you can export any number of mutually exclusive subtrees of your sources. You can run a handful of these exports in parallel. Once they have all completed, you can export the top-level folder efficiently by specifying the data directories from the previous exports. Let me show you an example. Here is the source tree that I will migrate. It has three project folders. In this case, there are only two files in each project. In your case, there will be hundreds or thousands of files, folders, and symbolic links. I'm going to copy-paste and run the commands to perform the exports. The first three export commands that I'm running are simple exports of folders. And now the fourth one is using the command line option which indicates that this is an incremental export and that it should traverse this tree but ignore any files and versions that it's already exported according to what's in these data directories. That completes the export phase. I've already created a project area, stream, and component. To import, I need to run an import command for each export. There's nothing special about the import commands that you run when you're importing either the subfolders or the incremental parent folder. The imports are complete. Let's see how it looks in the RTC client. The UI is still showing the initial baseline, but once I refresh this, you'll see that the baseline has a baseline has been created using the view tag that I exported from. So I'll show the the repository files and the projects folder we imported at the component root, and so the subfolders are have been all assembled into the component root even though they were imported in separate operations. Let me tell you a couple of other things about the version importer. In 406, you can perform an incremental export just by rerunning the export command if you want to pick up new files or versions that are shown uh, in the view. Uh, export will be a bit more efficient if you use the incremental migration options uh, such as prevdirs as I did in this demo or the prevdirs file option.
This next feature enables you to migrate multiple ClearCase views of your sources in a single operation. You can migrate all of your current development and maintenance configurations, as well as any of historical interest. This way, when the import completes, you will have baselines that capture the exported configurations. As we saw, the baselines are named with view tags that you specified during the export phase. I'll show an example. Here are a few views that I've created. They are simple uh, label type views, have, have the label type as their config spec entry. The label type and the view tag uh, match. So let's consider this R1, R612 or release 612 view. Here's a representative file. Here's the version that's selected by the view. It's got the R612 tag. Here's the version that's selected by the R60 tag. Here's the version that's selected by the R80 tag. Note that R60 and R80 are all on the Chaparral main. I'll call that the project branch or primary release branch. And these other branches are various maintenance branches in this example. Now I will show how to migrate a single export command where all of the view tags are listed. This is all that's needed for the export phase. Okay, eight views were exported. I'm going to run the import. So it imported all of the versions that were exported and it created the eight baselines that we need to show the configurations that we exported. I can show you what this looks in the Eclipse client. This is the component in the stream that we just imported into. It's still showing the initial baseline. When I refresh you'll see that it's showing the R8 baseline. That was the baseline created from the last view we exported. So I can show repository files. Here's the one file that was in the folder that we exported. Here's the history of the file. Let me expand that. So from the perspective of the baseline, here's the linear progression. Let me show it in the context of all the versions imported. So this is the version that was selected by the R8.0 view which selected the R8.0 label. Uh, another one that's interesting is the R612 configuration and let me show that to you. I think the easiest way to do that is to replace this with the R612 baseline. Here it is. And I get, I'm going to show you the repository files. And here's the file and the history. So this baseline is selecting a different version of the same file. You can see the branching structure in the comments of the change sets created by the importer. And again, I'll put this in context 
uh, in the whole version tree, if you will. And if we look at the properties, you'll see. Here's the version name, here's the branch, if anyone needs it for reference, there's the universal selector of the version. That concludes the demonstration. Thanks for looking at the new enhancements in the version importer.